here in our messy garage, but that's okay because that's where it fit at the time. Right now, I'm gonna select the forest of Coleman Valley Road, California to give you kind of an idea of how this bike works. This is not your average exercise bike. It literally changes the resistance based on the exercise or the course that you choose. That being said, you cannot change the resistance within the program. I've tried, I finally looked at the FAQs, you can't do that. So you have to just try as hard as you can. So let's get this started. If I wanted to ride it manually, I can. So you can treat it like a, an exercise bike, you just wouldn't use programs. Still downloading. There's even adorable music if you want to listen to it. Although generally, I tend to turn the music off and I listen to either my own music or I watch TV. Hello, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Chevasu's wife. And we are reviewing the Smart Bike by Renfo. So I've tried this a couple times and uh, I'm gonna show you kind of how it works a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how to do your initial test and some things that I've discovered as using the bike. So the first thing that you will need to do, of course, is to set up your bike. It has to stay plugged in because it is electric. You can change the height of the seat, you can change it forward and back, and you can also change the height of the rails. When you first start out, they're gonna have you download the AI Gym app, Artificial Intelligence Gym app. I've already done this, and as you can see, it connected automatically and it turned itself on. So that's pretty neat. If you go to the cycle cycling power test, you can see that my current riding power is 139, which apparently is superior, but I don't know who it is superior to. So when I first did the test, it has you sit down and it has you ride and it gets gradually harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. And eventually you max out and then it'll tell you, Congratulations, this is what your power level is. So based on that power level, when you're doing your exercises, like let's say I go to Discover and I choose an endurance um, test or exercise, I can open it up and it'll show you the different levels. So as I'm going along, it'll be like 50% of my power, up to 60% of my power, up to 90% and then back down. So you'll want to do your test as you're getting better so the courses become harder. Here's the thing. I don't think I did it hard enough when I first started because I found that when I started doing the exercises, I literally couldn't spin fast enough to generate the power I needed. So today I'm gonna redo the fit test I'm gonna have some really loud music on, I'm gonna go as hard as I can, and then I'm gonna try and exercise and see if it works out better. The goal is to keep it at 55 watts, so I'm at 56. And every minute it's gonna get harder. Okay, so I just finished the fitness test for the second time. I took a little photo. It says, you have climbed nine power stages. So I started out at 130 something, and I'm now at 145, apparently surpassing 80% of users. So the fitness test is really hard. When you start out, you're spinning as fast as you possibly can with almost zero resistance. And then as it gets harder and harder, you have to spin faster or it starts to go uphill. So there you go. I hope that you enjoyed that small little demonstration. If you are looking for the video where I actually put together the bike, if in fact you're at that stage in exploring this, or if you wanna look at other reviews from other people, I'd highly recommend it. Overall, five out of five stars, AI bike, from yours truly, Bo Shabasu.